My name is Rebecca Watkins and I'm the winner of the Acquisition Award for the Maria V. Howard Art Center's 2020 Juried Art Show. I'm honored and privileged to be a part of this beautiful show. This piece, Tobacco Hanging, is um, the winning piece and I was really inspired about a year ago driving home um, in rural eastern North Carolina and I drove by this big field of tobacco and out in the field were all these men in different bright colored shirts and and I thought it was a beautiful scene and then it occurred to me that you know there are a lot of people in eastern North Carolina who are unseen who actually you know have their hands and in all of these crops from the farmers to the migrant workers to the people working in warehouses um, who are in charge of getting these products to our homes. So I asked a friend if I could go visit her farm and she was kind enough to take me uh, to several farms out in Halifax County and I started taking pictures of, of the farmers and the workers and the scenes. And one of the things that struck me as interesting was I had all these great shots, but a lot of times um, the timing was such that their faces were covered. And I thought it was ironic because here I was as an artist who wanted to bring light to the faces of the people who were working, um, yet their faces are hidden. Um, and I thought that would be an interesting way to share a story through art that by hiding their faces in my, my art, that I'm also speaking to the fact that they're, they're often unseen. Um, so in this piece here, you can see this is in the warehouse and I was able to focus on their work just as um, one of my artists that I really um, admire is Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was a well-known muralist in Mexico, and he, he focused on the laborers, the workers in Mexico, and he did these huge murals. So I looked to him kind of as an inspiration for the style and my approach. Um, I actually chose to use a very large canvas, a 30 by 40, as a nod to um, a mural. And I also really wanted to focus on the workers. So I broke some rules in painting. Normally you start with the background and you paint forward. Um, in this case, I was so excited about painting those workers that I, I started with the workers first. And I spent a lot of time um, really looking at the details of their faces. Um, and then I went back and I built up the background and, and the foreground with the tobacco leaves as well. But to me, the tobacco wasn't as important as the workers um, and so that that also is part of the reason why the workers are so developed um, artistically and the rest of the painting is is a little more um, illustrative you'll also notice this red bandana in his pocket i added that and that is a nod to um, the adaptability of of these workers. A bandana can be worn to um, protect your neck from the sun. Um, it, it can be used to hold your hair up in a ponytail. So I really wanted to um, capture the fact that these workers are so adaptable. I'm continuing to work on this series and I hope to have more pieces to share with you in the future. I hope that you'll be able to see my painting soon as part of the permanent collection at the Maria B. Howard Art Center at the Imperial Center. And I invite you to visit my studio at the Bel Air Art Center in downtown Rocky Mountain as well, where I'm continuing to build this series of paintings and I hope to display it um, all together one day in a show in the very near future. Thanks so much.